Okay, so I got the filter wheel all taken apart because um, we got to get in the filters first before we mount everything. Um, I like to use blue gloves because I don't want to get any crap on my filters. So um, that way I don't get any accidental fingerprints. So um, it's an Astronomic L2 filter um, based on um, what Astronomic's website said is the L2 is the best based on the setup that I have. So um, there is no rings on these. So I always put my L filter in the one slot. So I'm gonna have to use the holders, which is what I was afraid of, but that's okay. I'm gonna try my best to do this while filming. Not the easiest. And see, this is why you wanna wear gloves, man. You don't wanna scratch up your filters or screw stuff up, so. This isn't the hardest thing in the world. I'm gonna do this without the camera. Okay, so that was no doubt the hardest thing I've ever had to do, trying not to drop the screw into the filter when you're trying to screw it in. Um, I also have the Astronomic uh, Deep Sky RGB set, so in 36 millimeters. So we got the red, the blue, and the green. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in, and I always do RGB. <laughs> so I'll go LRGB and then uh, for when I get them in, they're not in stock yet right now, is show, which will be in five, six, and seven slot. So it's crucial to know where you put your filters because when you set up the ASI Air Pro uh, and on Friday, hopefully the Plus, uh, when I get it, I will be, uh, you have to configure all that stuff in the application, which we'll go through. So I'm going to get these installed and then I'll uh, come back. Okay, so got all the screws back in. <laughs> Now we're going to put on the filter wheel. Um, I'm putting this at the edge of my desk so it doesn't move. There's a little groove on the bottom. So, and then the filter wheel, or not the filter wheel, the off axis guider, excuse me. Uh, the ZW off axis guider will screw in right here. So, well, that should be fun. <laughs> it's a good thing there's not a filter there. This is going to suck when there is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's see if we can go about it the smart way like we did the other ones. And honestly, what I should do is magnetize this flat, this Phillips because it's not magnetized, which is making it a little more difficult. So we got the filter wheel all put together and we've got the uh, OAG installed. So what's next? Well, <laughs> the most important part of all, the part that I had to have next day delivered, uh, the ZWO M48 plate. Apparently what I realized and learned is that ZWO with the larger OAG does not include a plate. This plate was included with the original OAG the 1.25 version, but when you go to the full frame, because it's more expensive, because they um, they set up the helix fo focuser on there for you already, um, I did not know that there was not a plate installed. So we got the plate, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that installed now and get it all set up so we can mount it to the camera and move on with life. It's, a, it's got a nice little rubber bracket in here, which is nice, hopefully you can see that. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and. It'll just uh, mount in here and we'll just take out a couple screws and stuff like that to, to get it to mount. So I'll take care of that real quick and I'll uh, be right back. All right, so I got the filter wheel all installed now. So there it is. Um, it's not perfectly straight. Um, it would loosen a little bit, so you know, that's kind of what it is. Um, so it's not level like I would like, but 
it's it is what it is <laughs> i'm sure there might be a way i might be able to adjust some screws in here to adjust the plate to turn potentially but i don't know enough about the uh, feather touch focuser yet so we'll have to mess with that later uh, but i'm wondering if i just loosen this screw if i can adjust the internals a little bit to turn and i may have to loosen those too but i'll uh i'll check a look at that and see um what's the next big thing this big monster uh, this is the ASI 2600 mm pro this is like one of the highest rated cameras on the market right now not the highest um, there's still the 6200 which is a full frame and then I want to say the 2400 I think uh, which is uh, pretty large as well so but um, this is just like my ASI 533 that I had before, uh, except this is the mono version and a bigger sensor, but um, it's basically the big brother to the ASI 533 um, M MC, which was an amazing camera. And I got a lot of really good images with it, so I'm excited to see what this will do uh, on the rig. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it real quick. So, take off the cap. And Sweet spot, there it is. There you go, there's the camera installed. Um, put it back there. So, hopefully, that's how we can get it to go. Uh, eventually, I'll get everything reconfigured so it sits like that. Um, so, I'll have to do some testing with it, but uh, it's getting there. Um, one of my other boxes. That's in the closet, I have to grab it, but I've got my ASI uh, 290, and then I still have to install the electronic uh, uh, focuser, so I'll do that next.